Hi Jimmy, what inspired you to move from Kenya to the UK as a nurse? <laughs> What inspired me i will answer this question in three ways one in terms of my personal motivations in terms of career opportunities and three in terms of um family or educational purposes okay so number one i will start with the career opportunities because i mean the main thing that brought me here is career so when i was in kenya after qualifying as a nurse i worked in two private hospitals the first one i worked in for two years really I, I went through a lot. I suffered, you know. You know in Kenya when you get a job in a private hospital, if you get a good one, you will enjoy. If you get another one like the one I was in, you will suffer. So for me, life was difficult for me. I was earning a small amount of money. I have a lot I want to take care of. I was in the university where I'm paying a lot of money and I was struggling really. I really did my best to apply for county jobs, but I was not getting. I applied even my own count several times, did interviews, but the bribery and everything was too much. You, either you know, you must know someone or bribe a lot of money. I know nobody myself. I wasn't ready to bribe, so of course I didn't get the job. At one point I got to one, but my name was removed from the list. Even <laughs> And it's okay, things happened. At one point I went for this interview in Kirinyaga County and they were like, ah, this is for the locals. I mean, and I mean, I, I, was, I was working in a private hospital in Kirinyaga County. But I come from Western Kenya anyway, so that's that's the tribalism and so on everything. So when I I am tired, I couldn't get another job, I couldn't move anywhere, and I was fed up. So I was like, can I consider moving out of the country? And I said yes. I started looking for information, information how I can move out of the country. That is how I was searching US, UK, everywhere, New Zealand, and everywhere. I ended up deciding UK. I did another video where, where I said um, I said the journey up to U to US, then I stopped it and moved to UK. I've said reasons for that. But anyway, that's how I ended in UK. Still, in terms of the career, I was looking at watching videos, seeing how nurses were so good here, you know, in the UK, in the US. And I was like, can I be a nurse so good as this, these people? Our lecturer used to tell us that training us, not just for nursing within the PGH, within Kenya only, but even outside the country. So I wanted to 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 be like them wanted to be competitive at international level you know so i was like can i achieve this so i i i am i took it as a challenge also to myself but again it's still in terms of career uh, i was looking forward to progress one i had worked in kenya okay the last year before one year before i moved to uk i was working in another private hospital as a nursing officer in charge so i was in charge of this big this hospital it's a level four hospital really I done a lot of management, you know, ordering things, uh, sitting in the meetings, disciplinaries, and so on. I done a lot, and I was like, I'm just 25 years old, and I'm running this hospital. I've done everything. I felt like I'm almost reaching the ceiling. So I was like, I'm not even applying for any government job anymore because if I do, I'll become at the at the bottom of you know uh, our job group K, you know, and uh, especially as a ward nurse in Kenya, I wasn't willing to go back there again. You know, working in the ward, I was like, I'd rather go abroad and work in the ward or do anything. But not in Kenya. So I decided those are the opportunities. That's what made me live in terms of my career. So the that point was in terms of personal motivations. Like personal motivation is like it reached a point I got so tired. You know, the life was difficult in terms of um, the corruption is everywhere. When I'm trying to look for opportunities to make my life better, I mean, you need to know some these things. Of you need to know someone. I got tired. I got tired at some point. Things were happening in my life, and I was like, I want to leave the country, you know. <laughs> so I just decided anyway. I want to do something that will make me leave the country because I had gotten so fed up and fed up with a lot of stuff, you know. And I was like, I just have to leave. That's why I worked so hard and did whatever I had to do to leave home. I knew when I move abroad, of course, my life will get better. The quality of life was good when I come to UK, uh, and 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 I'll be in a better position society wise in terms of i'll make myself better i'll join the university i'll do what because yeah and, and things like that so i knew my life will practically improve in terms of my quality of life and things i'm doing also as an individual career wise and so on and uh still other personal reasons i wanted to explore the world you know i knew if i come to uk uk proximity to europe i will tour around you know and i'll have opportunities to know places meet many people the people who come to uk from all over the world from all over the world so i wanted to meet these people talk to them learn from them and I've, honestly i've come here i've met people from over 50 nationalities so far from nigeria from poland from usa from uruguay from 
all countries in Africa, from all over the world, they're here, and I'm learning a lot, really, from people, and that's one of the things that I really wanted, and they've inspired me also to go to other places, you know, to learn, and to learn, and to learn, and um, I've gotten so many ideas here so far that if I was in Kenya, I'm sure I would not have gotten them, because your environment also determines the ideas you get, the things you, you do, and even if you have the motivation to achieve more than where you are. Those are in terms of my personal reasons. In terms of my educational purposes, um, I wanted, I really wanted to get a bachelor's degree, I mean, in nursing, outside the country, like outside Kenya. So, in Kenya, my nursing training is a diploma in nursing. You know, the KRCHN that you do in Kenya, the Kenya Registered Community Health Nurse, so I'm a nursing midwife back home. So I needed to do my bachelor's degree, but I wanted to do my degree outside the country. So, I had to look for a scholarship. And I got one here in the UK, which is a partial scholarship. I can share the link for you, so if you want to apply, I'll put the link down. So this partial scholarship, I joined the University of Suffolk. That's where I'm doing now my BSA, and I'm finishing in the next one month, or a, and a half, I think, and graduating the next maybe five, six months, five months, actually. So I'm achieving my goal. I really wanted that. I wanted to get a degree from abroad, and I, actually, as I speak to you now, I've gotten, another, another, I've gotten an opportunity for a master's scholarship you know these opportunities how would i have gotten them if i was in kenya i have been offered a master's actually already so these are opportunities that i wanted i want to do a master's here and um and the children will do the phd you know <laughs> i am not for that one so, so, so this is an opportunity that i want in terms of education wise also i've gotten a lot of training since i joined the nhs if you i mean I, i've done so many trainings i've learned so many skills I'm far much better nurse right now, you know, in terms of my progression. I can handle anything right now. Even when I go back to Kenya, I'm sure I'll have so much input. I mean, in terms of giving back to our system and how things work. And uh, of course, my future aspiration is to go back home and, of course, make things better. You know, I, I'm sure I'll have a lot of skills to transfer and a lot to share in terms of making things better, even back home. And uh, family-wise, also, I was like... Um, Anyway, in terms of other things, I knew when I come to UK also, even my financial capability will change a little. I know the economy here is also quite different, but I know I'm making much more than what I used to make in Kenya. And I'm able to save an amount of money that I'm able to take care of my other affairs back home and here also. Uh, there are certain things that I couldn't afford really when I was in Kenya. Like, right now I have a car, and if I was in Kenya, I could not be able even to, I mean, I'm sure, I'm almost sure by now I would not be able to afford a car really. But I have one fully paid and I'm happy. I can't brag of anything, but these are opportunities that God gave me when I moved to, to England. And these are things that I pursue. I'm, when I'm here, opportunities are many in this land. So I'm pursuing them every day, every night. I'm on my computer trying to work out something. These are opportunities that I'm pursuing here. So you can always do something progress your life. What I'm trying to say is, before you think about the idea of you want to move abroad, Put your mind together and you know have goals and objectives that you want to achieve also don't just go because everyone is going that's what i want to tell you because sometimes i have been i have been messaged you know i receive messages from people they're like hi Oma said i have joined the nursing program because i want to move to the uk as a nurse you know i have started doing this because i want to move to uk don't just do in a program because you want to move abroad the thing is, if it's not your calling, it's not your passion, you will not succeed in that. So look at what motivates you to move abroad. It will tell me whether you succeed or not. There are guys who have come here, and others like me, more qualified, more experienced, but you will suffer because your life goals are your life goals are totally different. I came here, I was alone, I was single, I've built my life here, I've gotten married now. My wife is here, she's working, I'm working. I mean, we are we are fine. So our life goals differ. So if you have family you're stable back home, whether in Kenya or whatever country, and you, you don't have really a reason, really, really to pushing you to move. I'm, just, just stay. But put together objective and just know what you're, what you're pursuing that will make you go away from home. Think about it critically and ask yourself if you must move. Myself, I'm planning to go back home, really. And I think the next few months, I'll start preparing myself to go home. Because I'm almost achieving my objective. I just want to get my master's and go home. So which I'll be getting soon anyway, so I'll, I'll plan yourself very well so that you have a goal that you're pursuing really, okay? So otherwise, God bless you. Those who still want to move abroad, opportunities are there for you. Think about what you want, pursue those opportunities, 
ask questions and so on those who think they want to do their bsn in the uk i can put for you the link and you said you join the program that i'm new I'm, I'm doing that has a partial scholarship and uh all the best so those are the reasons those are the things that inspired me to move to the uk up to there god bless you and ask any question in the comment section bye